Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into some topics. Let's go. Y'all, Puffy about to have some more troubles, right? This man right here is Roger Bonds, and he used to be Puffy's bodyguard back in the day. And he said he would lay his life down for Puffy. But baby, he is pissed, and I feel like he wants a payday. Hold on. So apparently, Roger has a son that unalived someone in Africa 13 years ago, and the baby is still over there right? Get into this third paragraph. Nobody worried about their kids when I had them. I mean, nobody. Where's the loyalty when it's my son? You want me to have loyalty to someone who couldn't tell me? Here's $100,000. I may not can go, but I sure can make sure he has a legal team. But I'll give some strangers $3 million. My truth, my story, my life. And then right down here, he said, name one person that has been with Diddy that is well off. Name one. Keep thinking because I'm going to name them zero. That's facts. And he put this in his story. I just need my son to have a fighting chance. We're not going to go by what you think. We're going to go by evidence. Like everybody in the comments was like, dude, why didn't you say something before now? Because it looks like you just need a payday. And he just might get it. Child Puffy is in some real trouble, right? And it's not ending anytime soon. I'm going to say allegedly about their bodyguard because I don't know, but Capital Preparatory Charter Schools are parting ways with Diddy, right? Light Revolt has parted ways with Diddy. Also, Carisha Please has left as well. I'm thinking, allegedly. I didn't mean for this to be a Puffy and Carisha post, but here we are. I was over there listening to Queen Sheba, and she had made some very interesting um, comments about them. Uh, Carisha... I said before that she's his karma. And a lot of you ask, how is that? Because Carisha has put some things out that would kind of speak to what Puffy does, allegedly. When she was talking about Gina, hold on. Calling this girl a munch and saying if Puffy wanted her to do something, he would make her do it. And then she called her an eater. Like, if the girl has had trauma... And young mommy is going after the girl and saying that Puffy can make her do something that speaks to what he's doing. Allegedly. This is his karma. And it's out there. And now what I'm understanding is these two have been made to move away from each other. Right? Like now, if you notice... Yo, Miami is out here with her friends. She's with her kids. Her and Puffy are not anywhere together. They're not saying anything. Matter of fact, they're not even on social media, seems like. But from my understanding, Puffy's people have made her go away. So they can't be together. But like I said, around by February and March, they may end up somewhere together. But Queen Sheba was saying that it's kind of like with Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein, whatever his name is, and his lady. Right, she was getting the girls for him, allegedly. And young Miami could take the fall. Y'all gotta go over there and listen to it because it makes a lot of sense. Hold on. Child, and we don't know if P has cleaned her up, made a deal with Diddy to get young Miami on board. You know what I'm saying? So we just don't we don't we just gotta see how this is gonna go. Now let's move on. How did this happen? Safari dating Neo's ex-wife, Crystal Smith. Word on the curb is that they are allegedly seeing each other. Crystal says she's ready to get her groove back. This how you want to do it? With Safari? Like, you went through a lot with Neo. Safari got kids that he don't really allegedly take care of. And you got kids. Like, y'all need to really think about that. This is who you want to run your children? Because how are you going to be around somebody else's kids and you allegedly don't get take care of your own? I'm just saying, that's what the word is. I, I'm just, allegedly. I was scrolling down my Instagram and I came across this advertisement. Isn't this Tyra from Love and Hip Hop New York? My peace comes first. Girl, when? Is that currently? Is this Tyra though? Let me know. Because that's Tyra, right? That's Tyra. What did that little baby say? What the hell? Y'all, what is four out here doing? What is he doing? Like, he puts it out there so it's no misunderstanding. And if you're into something like, and why is the picture of Jocelyn up here? What is going on with four? Ooh, honey, let's keep going.
Yeah, Phaedra is over here in Japan and she looks beautiful, right? Her and her boys are visiting. They have gotten so big. I don't know why she was over there, but I remember her saying on the show or something, she was going somewhere like on a live or something. Like Phaedra has really done a 180. Like I would love to know like what happened. I think after she got put off the housewife, she got a modeling contract, right? And this is where this is where we are now. What do y'all think about Phaedra's new look? I've been meaning to show this, right? This is Tara Cherie from Bell Collective. This is her baby, London. She said Thanksgiving hits different. I know it does, and I know she's extremely thankful. This baby is so sweet. Like, she got the sweetest little baby. I'm happy for Tambra. What world do we live in when they would give Memphis, the producer and ex-husband of Toya Johnson, a dating show? will look for love on a new dating show. Who, who is going to be a part of this? I mean, I know it's going to be somebody a part of this. But have y'all not even heard about this man? Allegedly, the K. Michelle situation, how he treated Toya. That's on, that's on TV, how he treated Toya. That's not alleged. I saw it for myself. Why, who is trying to talk to him? He not talking to nobody now. That's what I'm talking about. The interruption of it all. Men like this interrupt women's lives. Like, I can't. Now, allegedly, these two were seen leaving Beyonce's Renaissance film premiere together. I thought they were broken up. Like, earlier this month. What are they doing? Y'all just spent the block on each other? I like them together, but... Child. Young love, honey. So, this lady who was on TikTok, her handle is... Tana underscore Ann. She says she's debating about um, posting her husband on TikTok because women are in his DMs. And she posts things like him picking her up in silk pajamas, um, him picking her up off the floor and in places, you know, romantically or whatever. And she said women are in his DMs talking about you're such a good father, you're so wonderful. That's what they're going to do. I mean, that's on you. If you have, you know, you're secure within your situation, you really shouldn't have to worry about it. But it is what it is. Lastly, Kelsey Grammer um, was asked about bringing girlfriends back. And he said, we'll see what happens. Would you want this show to come back? Like, it would definitely be a different girlfriends because they're older and I'm sure they'll have more you know, experiences and everything. I tried to watch this on Netflix the other day and I just couldn't get through it. I don't know. But what do you think about that? Would you watch this if it had come back on? That's all I got for right now. It's your girl Millie Chun. Bye, y'all.